welcome to the second part of the vlog from Sprint 4. Now we actually go into uh, a how to how to create a killer Facebook ad in 15 minutes. <laughs> Maybe we are even faster. Who knows? Um, but yeah, we we look a bit into how to um, how how do we create those ads and, and give some tips around how to do this. Mm -hmm. So Odi, if you want to take over the screen, I will. Let's see. I'm going to start to share my screen. Screen two. There we go. Yeah. Now we're on. So pretty much I want to talk a little bit about some of the tools that you could use, uh, depending on how much time I have and what sort of creative we want to use. I either use Photoshop, which I really dig, or we use Canva, which I will show you in a little bit. Uh, it's kind of like ready-made templates for really super fast production. But I will also give you another hint, uh, a little bit about how to help you in your creative process. But for example, if you actually have more knowledge and you have more time, then definitely just remember to use for Facebook, like 1080 pixel times 1080 pixels. That's the size that fits, it's like that everyone is using and fits the best. But for example, I, I, in here I generated like all the different elements and then combine them. So for example, let's see, let's take this guy out. So you have all the different layers. This is a little bit more, if you, if you are more techie or you want to, to learn more about how to manage uh, images and how to produce them, then this is definitely Photoshop, a tool that you should be learning how to use. Yeah. And if you are, if you still want to be DIY, but you are not so tech, you, you don't have that much technical experience. There are other things that are way easier, like drag and drop, to do. So yeah, like yeah, well, first, so this, I love Canva. This is a thing for, for <coughs> me. I'm not really good at Photoshop, so Canva is is my go-to place. Yeah, I mean, this is a really drag and drop solution. Yeah, it's really fast and really and looks really really good, and. Canva, as you can see, it gives you like so many alternatives. Like all of these are ready templates, and you, you could even be as easy as just go like social media. What do you have for social media? And then it will give you stuff. Uh, or you can just say like, I want to do something for Facebook posts. Uh, let's see, Facebook post, and it will tell you like, okay, Halloween. Now this is trending. This is all the stuff that is ready made. So you can open it and generate your own templates. Yeah. Sometimes if you think that, you know, you don't have enough visuals or that you would, you don't have budget to be buying pictures, for example, in uh, fr from like, let's say, get the images gallery or from Adobe Photoshop or from uh, Adobe galleries. This is one little, a uh, really nice secret that I'm going to give you. You can uh -huh. use this page. It's called Unsplash. So for Unsplash is a website where you get all these pictures that are professional quality and they are for free. Wow, look yeah. So you, you just have to sign in and then you have access to this visual like that, like that, you know, database of pictures, professional quality that you can just download and use and just reference to the, you know, make a small reference to who actually was the one that took the picture. But that's yeah, it. So, so they are get, they are they are good for for advertising. Those they are good for advertising, and they are open source, so you don't actually have to pay anything for them. For example, let's say that I want to look for something with technology. Yeah. And then technology, and you can oh, see wow. it starts to, to to give yeah. a lot of nice visuals, and all of them are in high resolution. So you know, there is definitely stuff for everyone. Yeah, they, they look really good. So, and then in Canva, you basically download uh, yeah. the visuals you, you, you like, and then you can yes. really upload them to Canva and then I, drag and drop. I just wanted to show you one, an, one last page. Yeah. For example, if you have access to Adobe products, the Adobe has their own version, which is Adobe Spark. So now you've got three tips of, you know, two, which are like easy builders, you know, Spark and, and Canva. And again, you know, you can even have like even some some more stuff about how to do ideas and how to do storytelling, but yeah. you can also have like a whole database of templates that you could use. So, so, so if you would compare Canva to Adobe Spark, uh, what what is your verdict? So when would I you... would say that 
uh, Canva, it's easier, more, more intuitive. Yep. Adobe is part, you do need to have uh, some knowledge about Adobe products. Yep. And the difference is that to use Adobe Spark, you, at least in my case, I, I have my Adobe license. So I was able to access it for free. But otherwise, I think this is a pay service. Yeah, OK. But uh, I mean, this is and, another one. But Canva, so, I mean, Canva is like freemium. So you can do a lot of stuff for free. But there's also content you want to use. You need to have a premium account. But I think it's something like 20 US dollar a month or something like mm -hmm. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can do so much with the free with the with the free software. Like what like I'm gonna show you now. For example, like we already have one template that I like. This is kind of like the finished product. But pretty mm -hmm. much, you only have to click and and use. If I want to change the top, the you know the text up here. Yeah. Then I do it. If I wanted to change the background colors, then just kind of like click on the book and then says, "What color do you like to use?" Yeah. So, so let's say for example yeah. that one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then I just change my color. I don't like it. Back. So it, it's so intuitive, so mm -hmm. simple. The text, the same thing. You know, you have this, but you have like all these different fonts that are available. So let's say let's now let's use that one. Okay, no, no likey. Let's use yeah. this one. Yeah. So in the backgrounds, for example, it also allows you to update some of your pictures. So as you can see, I've been doing a lot of uploading stuff mm -hmm. for previous customers and for us. But then, you know, you can pretty much select drag and drop, and there you go. It like already like changes it for me. And boom. Yeah, yeah. And that, how does that look? Well, you know, not yeah. the best work right now. But then we can just take it off. Yeah, and, and once you're done, you can uh, you can download uh, the PNG. Uh, I think there's this the download section, and the cool thing is that this is really already in the right formatting for yeah. Facebook. So you yeah, don't like, have to think I mean, about it because you chose the right template. It has the right sizing and everything in in, in place. It will look look really good in Facebook. And actually, even you could even be even lazier, like to not to be even lazier, but even more efficient. If you link already your your Facebook accounts, you can start uh, publishing directly from here. So you do it here, you publish, and that's it. You don't okay. actually have to go later to your Facebook. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, so you know, we're in Finland. We are not lazy. We are efficient. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was correcting my words. If you exactly. want to be more efficient, <laughs> but you know, they, this is something very very like useful in a sense that it's so easy. Let's say that you know. Even some of the formatting does it automatically. Like, uh, wait, no. Yeah. 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 There you go. I just changed the entire background. Yeah. So maybe, maybe still some some words uh, before we end this part uh, about creating ads. So the, the ads. Imagine the, the people are looking at the ads. So they are scrolling on their on their phone through Facebook, the Facebook news feed. So you need something which is really like a hook for for the person visually. So it needs yeah. to be something which looks very very different, or it has a bright color, or it has something very uh, very hooky, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so uh, when when we when we do digital marketing, we we always need to look into three three different sections. It's the hook, it's the story you tell on it and then it's the offer what you give for the user yeah. and also um, make it as clear as possible so if you are making a, an ad for an ebook put the ebook directly on the ad like don't mm -hmm. don't just put some some to some random and then the user clicks it and then it's something else so yeah. that the user is really clear that okay when i click on this that i could expect the user can expect what they click but the thing is that you need to create the emotion of of curiosity for the user it's very important so the user needs to be curious so, oh what is this uh, mm -hmm. you know like growth growth hack growth hacking vlog um it's very clear you know yeah. so and we are going to try to target to people who are interested in growth marketing and 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 so on so mm -hmm. so for us we want to target other growth hackers to, to to look or some people who are interested want to want to know about it and things like that so for them it's really clear right yeah i think the creative is like 60 percent of the post on the ad because then you also have to do the copy for it yeah. so like in the, like you were just saying the first part now i just show you 
how to do the creative part, but then you also have to think of the copy. What are you going to put in there? At least in the creative, it has to be less is more, very clear, but you also need to put something in the text of the copy, something that will be easy to read and engaging and kind of like, you know, depending on your audience, you want to be, you would like to use different tone. In Happy, we use it more like playful. So yeah. we always try to do a reference to pop culture and something funny. And exactly. for that, for example, this is how the team works a lot here. Like Juicy is the master of the copy and, well, I'm, the, and I'm the dude doing the visuals. And together I'm, I'm we the come copy up with ninja. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. copy ninja. Exactly. So so yeah, it's it's again it's a, coll a collaboration, but but this is you can really do fast and really good looking posts in 15 minutes if you just are aware that okay i don't need to fill my my graphic my visual with text just put very clearly what it is about and less is more yeah exactly so the thing with getting results in in ad creative or in growth hacking is that you try as much as possible in a short or medium amount of time so oh, yeah. for instance um, so be, because you with, with everything you post you, you you get more insights and you know what works mm. and what not I'm gonna I, I give think this there, there was to you now so that we can see you <laughs> yeah so so there was a, i think once a study done that they have used 100 people who were together those 100 people uh working on one project or on one creative thing you know all those hundred together and they try to make it perfect okay those hundred yeah. people sat together they together try to make it perfect okay mm -hmm. uh and then there were another group of hundred people they they made a hundred or 50 different things you know but but they did small teams and they tried different things and 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 in a more iterative way this the second the second uh option was much much more uh like had much better results than the than, than the first yeah, and I think well, that under, underlying what you're also saying there is that probably the team that had the the group that had smaller teams and they were generating more, they yeah. also didn't have fear to fail because then you you do many things, they don't need to be perfect, but it's a learning process. The more you do, the better you get at it, the faster you start producing. Done is better than perfect, and yeah, yeah. but on this on this bombshell on this bombshell <laughs> on this bombshell we have to say <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Exactly. Hey, thanks a lot uh, for sharing these uh, awesome insights, Odi, and yeah. we will see us in the next episodes. Yeah. Ciao. See ya. Bye.